Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Namrata Upadhya. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist at Aster RV Hospital, Bangalore. So I get a lot of patients coming with questions about short stature in these children. In this series of videos, we are going to discuss dis different aspects of short stature. Starting with, what is short stature? Short stature simply refers to a child whose height is below the expected for the age and sex of the child. Although it is largely used in, as a general term, short stature term is specifically applied to children whose height is below the third percentile when their height is plotted on a growth chart. One of the common questions I get is, Doctor, my child appears very short compared to his cousins or his classmates of his own age. Should I be worried? As we all know, we all come in different shapes and sizes. So it is okay for some people to be short and some people to be tall. Just because someone is short, it does not mean that they are unhealthy. However, it is useful to ask ourselves a few questions which could indicate that something more serious is going on. So what could be these questions? The first thing is whether my child is outgrowing his or her clothes and shoes or footwear every year whether the child's dentition or the eruption of tooth have happened at the right time, whether there is a very strong family history of anybody being short, more specifically being the parents, the grandparents or the immediate aunts and uncles. One more thing that is very important is if your child is born very small for gestational age or born preterm, that is something which you need to keep in mind. One of the other questions I got was, my child uh, was taken to the pediatrician and his growth was on the third centile, his height specifically. However, the pediatrician did not seem to be worried as he said my child was always on the third percentile. So is this normal? Okay, that's a very good question. Third percentile simply means that even though your child is small, your child is still taller than 3% of the rest of the population. So what is more important is the rate at which your child is growing. So the height taken at a particular point of time and plotted on a growth chart is like having a screenshot where it is exactly telling you what the height is at that point in time. However, we need to see the whole movie. So what will help us is actually a series of height measurements plotted over a period of time. So this is what we refer to as growth velocity. So what is growth velocity? So as we all know, we would have noticed that after the child is born, the first two years the child is growing very rapidly. So this the growth velocity at this time is much higher than the rest of the childhood. So normally the growth velocity between two to five years of age is about six to eight centimeters per year. Thereafter, beyond five years of age, the child normally grows at a rate of five centimeter per year. So even though your child is on the third percentile, if the growth velocity has been normal, it means that your child is still okay. But however, if the child's growth velocity indicates that his height has reduced from the 90th percentile to the 50th percentile, it means that something serious may be going on and your child needs evaluation.